Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Kerry Gem Spiritual World. I'm a tarot reader and today I'm doing a pick a card reading on your future partner in detail. So this is going to be very in depth, it's going to be about their looks, it's going to include their zodiac sign etc and how they are. So this is going to be very in depth of what they are going to be like. Please remember this is a general reading therefore it may not resonate with everyone. I also offer private readings which will be linked down below in the description box. And I'm also running a competition, so you can also check out the description box to find out how you can enter, which is how you can win a free tarot reading with me. So I would like to quickly mention this beautiful um, Labradorite uh, wrap bracelet that is from Cape Diablo Spiritual Jewelry. I will link their website and Instagram in the description box in case you want to check it out, but everything is handmade and I'm absolutely in love with this bracelet. For group 1 we have the Florite Butterfly, group 2 we have the Black Moonstone Heart and then group 3 we have the Rose Quartz Paw. So take a minute or two to meditate on which pile you feel most drawn to. If you feel drawn to multiple piles feel free to tune into multiple readings. All timestamps will be linked down below in the description box and also pinned to the comment section. So I'm going to start with group 1. And for the rest of you, I will see you at the click of your timestamp. Hello group number one and welcome to your reading. So we're going to find out what your future partner is going to be like in detail. So this is going to be their looks, their zodiac sign and their overall personality. So you chose the beautiful uh, fluorite butterfly. I prepared one card for you and the rest I will be pulling from each of my decks. So you've got the Knight of Swords as your first card. So already your person is going to be a Gemini, a Libra or an Aquarius star sign. Okay, that's coming through. And they're going to be someone who is very decisive. They're going to be really focused and driven. So I feel like they're going to be someone who's really into their career. Um, and they can be quite defensive. So so there will be a certain part of them that they will take things the wrong way sometimes, but that is just how their personality is. And, you know, the Knight of Swords is very fast moving, so this does correspond to the events that move with great speed. So I feel like they're going to be someone who is going to basically want to speed things up in your relationship. So your future partner, um, they do choose intellectual responses to challenges rather than emotional, which means they basically are very intelligent and they use this kind of quick thinking attitude rather than using their emotions. So they can kind of hold back on being quite an emotional person. So they may feel quite guarded. One thing that's coming through as well is your person is going to have dark brown hair. Um, I feel like they may have like dark blue eyes as well or for some of you I'm picking up hazel eyes I just feel like this kind of dark exterior so let's find out more about your person so for group number one can we have more messages about their future partner in detail you want detail about their future partner for group number one what else can you tell us about their future partner the group number one phase. Can we have one more message? So we have the four of swords. We also have the six of swords. And lastly we have the five of cups. So as I spoke about earlier in your reading that your person is of a um, air sign. So they definitely are a Gemini, a Libra or Aquarius. It's coming through very strong. One thing I see in the Four of Swords is that they're a person that likes to meditate. So they may be into meditation or just rejuvenation. They do like to chill out. Um, and perhaps this is, helps them when they are have these kind of rash faults. I did speak about that they are someone with great speed, but at this speed does need to slow down. So it's almost like you know they're going this way and then they kind of sit down and relax and they take everything in so I feel like your future partner is someone that gets great insight from meditation and the need to rest or take a vacation they're someone who likes to go on trips 
and that is connected very much with the um the six of swords is there someone who likes to go on traveling uh day trips holidays um and they like they're going to be someone who wants to spend time with you doing this so i feel like they are quite an adventurous person that is definitely coming through and they're going to be someone who gives their self more time before making the decision and as I spoke about, I feel like they're going to be someone who doesn't want to mentally exhaust themselves. And, you know, they are someone who loves their sleep. That is also coming through. So as I spoke about, uh, you know, the Six of Swords being about travel, this is confirming a relocation as well. So I feel like your future partner is going to be someone who wants to move a lot with you. They might not be happy staying in one place. Um, you know they may want to kind of change their scene so they may be someone who likes to you know work on building a home with you and relocating so i was picking up that they had this dark exterior about them and that's definitely coming through with the five of cups so i feel like your person is someone that focuses on negative things as well so this is why they sometimes need to chill out and have this kind of meditation time you know their meditation may be just going for a walk it may be you know, um, listening to music, They're, they find ways to meditate. I feel like your future partner is someone who likes to, you know, think that everything happens for a reason. They have this kind of mental attitude that everything will be, will happen for the right reasons. So can we have more messages for group number one on what their future partner will be like? In detail, please. More messages about group number one's future partner. Wow, you got unconditional love that popped out. You are worthy of love exactly as you are. Your future partner is going to basically um, have a lot of love for you. And they're going to be, even though they put on this exterior, like, you know, that they don't have this emotion, like, because they're not that emotional towards you, you deep down you know how they feel about you. I feel like they're going to be someone who likes the way you look. I feel like they're not someone who is that bothered if you've brushed your hair or, you know, if you've if you're someone who wears makeup. Like I feel like they love you anyway. So this is a really beautiful card that they love you unconditionally and they do have so much um love in them. So they're a very loving person. So can we find out more for group number one? What their future partner will be like in detail. Can we have more insight? So the two cards that come out was behind the curtain, reveal what you are not looking at, as well as claim your crown, you are worthy, believe in yourself. So we've got you are worthy coming up again. So your person is very much connected to this worthy energy. And you know, where we have this peacock, this does correspond to beauty. So I feel like your person is going to have a lot of beauty about them. I feel like they're going to be beautiful inside and out. Um, I feel like there's someone who kind of you know they possibly wear the trousers in the relationship and that's one thing i see with claim your crown so there's someone who's really going to believe in their self and your relationship you do have behind the curtains reveal what you are not looking at so your person the type of person they are is almost like they're quite mysterious it's one thing i see with behind the curtains they're very mysterious i feel like they're gonna have something about them that only you can see um it's gonna be something that you find really attractive about them. So can we have more messages for group number one on their future partner in detail? So can we have more detail about their future partner for group number one, please? Can we have more detail and insight? So you've got three cards that popped out. You've got door to romance. You've got storm warning and caring connections so group number one i feel like your person is really passionate um you know you do have unconditional love and then you have daughter romance and caring connections so one thing i see in daughter romance is that your person's gonna be very romantic okay they're gonna be really romantic towards you so they're gonna be someone who likes to perhaps leave rose petals 
um, everywhere. There may be someone who's going to gift you with things. I just feel like um, they're going to be really romantic and caring. You know, one thing I see with caring connections is this is two people who belong together. So I feel like your future partner um, is going to basically be really caring towards you, gift you with flowers, um, you know, be really um, affectionate. So they're going to be very, um, you know, enjoy giving you hugs and kisses and, you know, very much intimacy. So I feel like when you meet your future partner, you're going to be opening up this door to this caring connection and this unconditional love. So this is amazing. I feel like with the storm warning, this is just warning that your person does have a fiery uh, thing about them, you know, very much connecting to the first card, the Knight of Swords. You know, I did speak about how they're someone who can be quite um, defensive at times and they rush into decisions, um, you know, because events are moving with speed. So I feel like this is just warning you that this person that you are going to be with has a very, um, they have this edge to them. So group number one, this is the reading I received for you today on your future partner's zodiac sign, what they're going to look like and how they're going to be, what their personality is going to be like. So please let me know down below in the comments um, if you liked this reading. Hopefully I shall see you in a future one and I'm sending you lots of love and light. Hello group number two and welcome to your reading. So you chose the black moonstone heart. So we're going to find out what your future partner is going to be like in detail. So this is going to be their looks, their zodiac sign and everything. So how their personality is going to be like. So I've prepared one card and the rest I've put in from my decks. So the first card you have is the Ten of Cups. So this is a water sign. So I'm picking up that your future partner is going to be a Pisces. That's something that's coming through. And they're going to be someone who's very family orientated. So there's someone who wants to build a family with you. They're very much connected to their own family. I feel like there's just someone who, you know, wants a happy marriage and a happy ever after. So they're going to be very emotional. They're going to be a really content person. So they're going to be really smiley. Uh, like I said, I just feel like they're going to be a very happy person. And they love being in a relationship with you. And they're definitely going to want children and they want to raise their children wisely and successfully. So they're going to be someone who you can trust. So can we find out more for group number two on what their future partner is going to be like in detail? So can we have what they're going to look like for group number two? For group number two. So you got the Queen of Cups, you got the um, Ten of Swords, as well as the uh, King of Swords, which is interesting. So I was picking up this Pisces energy, and I feel that in the Queen of Cups, because I feel like your person is someone who is quite emotional, they're very much in touch with their own emotions. So I feel like they're going to be very loving, compassionate. Um, and they may have psychic abilities as well. So there may be someone who does have deep psychic insights. Um, that's one thing as well. And they are someone who's very caring towards others. And there's someone that could forget to care for themselves because they're so wrapped up in family life. Um, and being this kind of family protector is something that I'm picking up. And they're going to have such deep love of their family and friends. And they're someone who follows their heart and their intuition. So they're going to be, as I said, very trusting towards you and other people. So with these cards, I'm picking up Gemini energy. So for others of you tuning in, you could, uh, your future partner may be a Gemini. So your person may be someone who likes to relocate. You know, they may be someone who does enjoy moving home with you. Um, they're going to be someone who doesn't deal that well with negative energies around them. So they could be someone who carries a lot of weight on their shoulders and it's almost like they they need to walk away from this. They're someone who could be a little bit melodramatic. They could have this reaction that something's not as bad as what it is, but to them it's like the end of the world. They see minor obstacles as, as thing, major 
things to face in life. Uh, so they could have this kind of overreaction towards um, life. So your person, even though they are very um, sensitive, they do have this um, intelligence about them and they can put on certain exteriors and when they need to be, they can be very impartial and they're very respected uh, around people. So I feel like they give wise advice and, you know, they're very fair-minded. So they could be someone who's great at public speaking and communicating clearly as well. So even though they're very emotional, they have this balance of being unemotional towards certain people. So it's coming through that your person is going to have blonde hair. I feel like there's someone who's going to have... Um, blue or grey eyes and they could possibly have light brown hair but I'm picking up light so I feel like they're going to be someone who's going to have light blonde hair or of a light coloured hair. So can we have more messages for group number two of what their future partner will be like? What will their future partner look like? What will they be like towards you? Can we have more messages? about group two's future partner. So the cards you got, you got growth. So there's someone who likes to grow. As I spoke about, there's someone who likes to kind of move home. There's someone who's always looking for the next thing. There may be someone who wants to kind of you know, uh, build their own home or work on their new home. I see growth as something that they like to do so they like to expand their business they like to expand their relationship they like to expand their family so there's someone who does want lots of kids with you you've got the unknown so when lost new paths will appear as well as high vibrations you are ready to vibrate higher so group number two your person has a high vibration energy about them very much like these crystals there's someone who connects well to people who are on the same level so they vibrate higher around your energy so I feel like you are both very in sync with each other so I spoke about how there are this um you know happy person and and that is the energy that's coming through there's someone who does like to remain positive you know they have this um electrifying energy about them and one thing with the unknown is when lost new paths will appear. But this just means to me your future partner is someone who, as I spoke about, gets afraid when things get too much and they don't know how to handle it. They kind of overreact. So when things are lost, they almost don't know where to go. There's this unknown energy about them. You know, very much like this shooting star. They kind of zoom and they're kind of off before you can see the back of them, you know, very much connecting to the Ten of Swords, as you can see the back of this person. There's someone who doesn't stick around for things that they feel are negative because that affects their vibration. So your person may be someone who enjoys going on family day trips out with you. That's something that's coming through as well. They like to explore the outdoors. So can we have more messages for group number two and their future partner in detail? What else can we find out about group number two's future partner? What are they going to be like? One more message please for group number two. So the cards that come out for you was attachment. Um, the world and then we have the man holding a coin. So I was picking up this light energy that they're going to have light hair. So as I spoke about, they will have light brown hair or blonde hair, but they do have very light eyes. So there's someone who likes to work for their family. That's one thing I see with man holding a coin. There's someone, again, picking up this energy where they, you know, very much use their intellect to kind of get jobs done. So I feel like they're going to be a hard worker. Um, attachment is something I see that... So I feel like they're going to be very attached to you and your relationship and your whole family life. There's someone who's very much attached to this energy. So um, it's not a bad thing, but I feel like they very much enjoy your company so much. Especially where you have the world card. There's someone who sees you as their complete world. 
and you know this whole ten of cups this this family life is their world there's nothing else so I feel like there's someone who's going to again be this family person so I feel like your person is going to be someone who likes to complete things because you have the world which is a completion and you have the ten of cups and the ten of swords number 10 is really um, significant in this reading this could mean something to do with your relationship when you may meet this person what may happen this could be like a you know your 10 year anniversary mark there is something to do with 10 that is really corresponding in your reading so group number two this is the reading i received for you on your future partner please leave me a comment down below let me know if you like the video. Hopefully I shall see you in a future reading and I'm sending you lots of love and light. Hello group number three and welcome to your reading. So you chose the Rose Quartz Paw. So I've prepared one card for you and the rest I'll be pulling from each of my decks. So we're going to be finding out what your future partner is going to be like. This is going to be um, their looks, their zodiac sign and what their personality will be like. So you've got the Queen of Wands. So this does correspond to a fire sign. So I feel like your future partner may be an Aries, a Leo or a Sagittarius. They're going to be someone who is really brilliant and talented. They're going to be really independent. And they could be quite controlling. So this could be um, the kind of negative side to their personality. But there is nothing that they can't do, you know. But I feel like there's someone who really believes in themselves because there's nothing that they can't do. They feel like they can achieve anything with you. And there's someone who doesn't underestimate their abilities to make their dreams come true. So they just follow their dreams. They're really hardworking. And they have this need for balance between career and personal life. So I feel like there's someone who, you know, are able to juggle things. They're able to go to work, but they're able to still pay attention to you and your relationship. So I feel like your person may have like red hair or they may have a slight auburn tone to it or this could even mean blonde but I just feel like they have this kind of um, I'm swaying towards kind of blonde and auburn hair and they have a really healthy blushed look about them so I feel like they're going to have blue eyes as well and I feel like their eyes are going to be stunning. So can we find out more for group number three and what their future partner is going to be like in detail? What else? So we have the Two of Pentacles, we have the uh, Three of Cups as well as the King of Cups. So I feel like your person in the future that you're going to be with, they're going to be someone who, again, they're juggling this life of family and work. There's someone, as you can see, he's almost tipping over the edge because this is almost a bit too much. I feel like there's someone who works too hard on multiple jobs and they have this need to bring balance and fun into your life. So they're very fun. I still feel like, you know, as you can see, you know, how colourful his trousers are. I feel like your person is going to be someone who enjoys colourful colours. They're going to be someone who juggles multiple priorities and they're someone who's good at budgeting money. And I feel like as well where you have the three of cups, there's someone who enjoys being around people. So they are a people person, uh, very much a people pleaser. So I feel like there's someone who likes to celebrate with you and when you have these joyful moments together. So your future partner, you're definitely going to be engaged to them or you're going to marry them or I do see you having a family with them. I see you having children. And... They are very much able to um, work around their work as well for you. One thing I see with the Kin of Cups, this person is trustworthy, they're honourable, devoted. So I feel like you're going to have a really solid romantic relationship with this person. That's coming through with this card. And I feel like there's someone who is able to manage their emotions. They may have these hidden emotions, but I feel like there's someone who is very charitable and... They do like to kind of help charity. And for others of you, I'm picking up this Cancer energy. So this your star sign of your the future person you're going to be with could be a Cancer. So can we have more messages for group number three on what their future person, their future partner in detail will be like? For lips, zodiac signs, how you may meet them. 
So the flames of love just popped out. Let's just get more messages, but that's already confirming something to me. And then the other cards that come out was break free and wild nature. So I spoke about how your person was going to either be, you know, blonde or have kind of Albany, Auburn hair. This is coming through with the flames of love. I feel like your person is very fiery. Back to this fiery energy is coming through strong. So again, I'm picking up this fire, a fire sign more so than the cancer. One thing I see, this is surrender to the fierce fire of love. They're going to be very passionate. So you're going to have a really kind of intimate relationship. And yeah, I'm picking up that kind of fiery hair colour. <laughs> and that's just coming through. We have break free, outside of fear is a world of love. So there's someone who doesn't like to be indoors too long. They love the outdoors, very much connected to wild nature. There's someone who enjoys, you know, nature and they enjoy animals. As you can see, these walls are painted pink. There's someone who enjoys, you know, being in this loving relationship with you. So I feel like there's someone who takes all your fears away. They're going to be someone who is very wild and free that's coming through so they have a really strong spirit about them um it's this energy where they just like to do things at the spare of the moment that is coming through so can we have another message for group number three the more detail about their future partner and what they're going to be like group number three is the future partner and what they're going to be like So the cards that come out was Angel of Strength, Strategy, as well as the Sun. So your person, as I spoke about, being this free spirit energy that's coming through. As you can see, we have um, Angel of Strength. So there's someone who's very connected to two animals and they have this strong bond and connection to you. So they are someone who is very, again, I feel like they love wildlife. Definitely coming through. <laughs> and... So there may be someone who's really into animal rights as well, especially where we have break free. I feel like there's someone who's very strong. They're very strong minded. They're very strong willed. I feel like you're going to have a really strong relationship with this person. Very much with the sun. You know, this does correspond to the fact that they are a happy person, that you have a lot of um, happiness in your relationship. They're going to bring a lot of light energy into your life. So I do see you having a really happy, joyful, fulfilled relationship. So this is their person. Um, this is their aura. Okay, this is, you know, this sun is their aura. One thing I see is strategy is that they they like to plan. They plan things all the time. So they may have a journal, they have a diary. You know, they're always checking for dates and they don't forget birthdays, okay? They don't forget important dates with you. So I think there's someone who does look ahead to the future. So this is really important to plan ahead. So I feel like they are very much um, steady-minded. And again with this this line, I'm picking up this, you know, they have the fiery look about them. So they either have this auburn hair or they have this fiery look to them. There's just something picking up with fire that's coming through strong. So you may even meet this person in this environment. So I did talk about animals. You may meet them in a kind of animal environment, you know, somewhere that you both connect well in. That's something I'm picking up. So group number three, this is the reading I received for you today on your future partner in detail. So please let me know down below if you like this video and hopefully I shall see you in a future reading and I'm sending you lots of love and light.